uh, and there's going to be a lot to talk about from this one as well. Uh, a lot of awesome characters were used today. A lot of uh, interesting top level play, like we said. I think one of the, the most interesting highlights is there was a Dark Pit Ditto in Winter's Finals, and it wasn't any secondaries or anything. So, oh boy, here we go. All right, the DLC era is officially taking over. Ghost versus Shrix. Sephiroth versus Pyra and Mithra. Three, You're starting on the yeah. Mithra, though. The speed of this character is insane, Koopa. Let's go. Yeah, here we go, baby. Grand Finals, as my uh, our good friend Stu, the announcer, would say. Uh, uh, although no one can do it like Stu, though, you know? I can't. I don't God, have enough No one can. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, the, the, man is, the man is gifted. Uh, shout out to that man, for sure. But yeah, uh, we're seeing uh, you know new sword versus old sword here in uh, Mithra versus uh, Sephiroth. And... Again, I haven't seen a lot of Sephiroth in these Wi-Fi tournaments. This character, I feel like, is getting kind of a, a, a rap as a bad Wi-Fi character, but I don't really see that has. I think really? this character is still... I, that's what, from what I'm hearing from you know people online, but may I suggest you follow Tweak and watch what he does with this character. So, Right. Oh, jeez. What a punish right there, too. What a call up there. Burning end. It was an amazing spacing option right there. Good call out. Okay. Good recovery. Yeah, Shrix Aqua Flash is barely getting back to the what? to the ledge right there. Oh, what, what? See ya. <laughs> See ya. Yep. Ow. It's so painful sounding and looking, you know? It can't be good. Yeah, that that, that move is is, is uh, painful. Mm -hmm. All right, Pyra's out. Edge guarding her specialty. After Mithra puts him in the disadvantage, Pyra comes over and takes over. Ooh, no. The downer. Yeah, missing the re-grab right there. I feel like F-Tilt would have uh, definitely connected, but, you know, Ghost just coming up short on that uh, on that punish. Down it. Dude, that down air is ridiculously good. I Honestly, it's probably her best. I, I, I feel like that's kind of a strong statement because her up is really good too, but, man, her down air is crazy strong. Yeah, it's like Arsene, uh, it's like Arsene down air, but it just never goes away. <laughs> like, it's like yeah. the, that, it's it's a super strong. The the, the spike hitbox on it's insane. Um, it, it it combos at almost all percents. It's wild. That move is a problem. Mhm. Mm a lot of moves are problems. Honestly, it hits so hard. As you see, uh, Strix trying to get something uh, going with the uh, with the side B for of Sephiroth right there, but. Yeah, that, that move, as good as it is when it, it, it when it connects, it definitely leaves you open uh, if you're not paying attention. Ooh! Down tilt the buster. At the ledge again. I like the double fake out, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to pirate JK. Try to trip him up, maybe get, get a little speed bonus in there. Ooh! Oh, goes for the flaming end, but... Uh... Gonna come up uh, short once again. The upper, though, will catch Sephiroth on landing, so... Uh, Ghost able to regain the lead here. Yeah. Grab, yep, that should be good damage here. Nope, a little too much rate. Wow, no follow-up. Okay, good. And again, follow up with the uh with the neutral air. Uh oh. Yep, there we go. Reverse octo slash back to the ledge. That is a huge uh again, huge uh advantage right there for Sephiroth. That move is dumb strong. Mm -hmm. I like the way you approach that right there. You have the orbs on you, but you can still go at Sephiroth. What he's kind of anticipating you doing is picking a defensive option and hiding away from him. So if you come at him and hit him a couple of times, create some space for yourself naturally. Okay, looking for the blaze again there. Try to footstool too. But like if you if you kind of swing at Sephiroth when he doesn't expect it, it's obviously a good time to do it. So it doesn't hurt to swing at him even if you have the Shadow Flare dots on you. All right. I'm gonna go for the up throw here. Ooh, but nice landing there uh, from uh, Srix. Ooh, oh, oh my god, every oh. Wow. Yep, the orb saved him. Pyra yeah, is Shadow... out though. Shadow Flare MVP, man. Okay. Almost getting a KO here. Pyra at the ledge. What's she gonna do? I'd be okay. Whoa! Okay, trying to create some space here. Strix can't find his way back into the ledge quite yet. There he is. Can he get his feet back on the ground, though? Side B again. Is that going to oh, do it? Maybe? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was a good hit for sure. Caught him in all of it. Very nice job. Ghost taking down game one. Pyra and Mithra. Pyra closing it up, though. I mean, that's, I feel like that's how it, it is, yeah. man. You know, uh, <laughs> to bring it back to baseball again, Mithra is your, uh, 
Mithras or Andy Pettit, and uh, you know Pyra's is a Mariana Rivera. So you know you got to yeah, bring, bring in the closer, throw nothing but heat, baby. Literally, mm-hmm. cut fastballs, you know. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> do you think? Do you think they, uh, uh, Pyra Mithra, have any idea who Metallica is? I think they're fans. If I had to guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Strix, back to the drawing board. I appreciate that he does this in between games. It's worth it just to take some time and recollect your thoughts and think about what you could do better. But uh, even even more than that, think about what character you're going to go and what stage you're going to go. So, no, it, that the game one Sephiroth could have just been a, a test, or maybe these guys are like, oh, you know what? You know, we've. I'm sure that they both put a could you know, could have potentially had top two seeds on their on their minds, so they're just like, all right, let's just uh, you know, nobody gets hurt. Let's just take this easy. These guys are talking American. <laughs> I can't understand. <laughs> I feel like when people think American, they think like like Texas accent. You know what I mean? Like kind of Southern drawl or something like that. Yeah, I mean but, they don't uh, know about they don't know about the Boston vernacular or the uh, Boston. Yeah, <laughs> wicked. Which is kind of going away, honestly. Which is sad, but it is what it is. You you never lost your your khakis and your, or your car keys? Nope. Imagine losing your khakis. Anyway, <laughs> Srix <laughs> and Ghost both now have, have taken their time going over there. See, let's hey, see what they got. It really could be it. anything. Oh, I apologize. I got a blazing end. What? Is what I, call it. Not flaming end. Uh, thank you for uh, correcting me, Jack. Hey, you're good. I messed it up last week. That's why. Yeah, I, I, I can't have the Zeno blade uh, stands down my throat. Not again. Yeah. The worst one I had was Double Edge Dance for sure, because I call it Dancing Blade, but it is what it is. Either way, that's how you learn. You get better at stuff. Oh, he taunted. That was a mistake against against uh, Mithra. She's so fast. Oh, Diddy Kong. Holy yeah. crap. That's, that's what I'm saying. Good shield work right there. It, it's easy to try to swing after the first time you shield there. So that was really good. He, he knew that uh, Ghost was good, or he knew that uh, Search was going to approach with uh, a yeah. second attack. Yeah. Now, this might look like a. Th- People might look at this and think it could be a throw, but I don't oh. know, man. I, 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 I'd never sleep I on anyone. She's dead. Yeah, she's dead. That move doesn't send you as far as you think it does. Like, it, the animation looks like it sends you way farther. Yeah, they definitely fall into that cloud category where, like, your recovery's okay, and then when you lose your jump, like, you're kind of just screwed. Yeah, but right now, just like that, uh... Srix's getting a, a gift right there as uh, as Ghost is already down a stock here. And, you know, I never sleep on Diddy Kong, man. This character is still no. capable of, you know, of mauling your face off, you know, uh, comboing large strings. Again, look to Tweak. He's, he's putting a lot of work with this character. Um, yeah. Between Tweak, Rivers, and Aaron, like, there's just so much good Diddy Kong content to, to watch and digest. Oh, my. I thought that was going to be it, honestly. It was close. The fact that it's close is insane. Yeah. <laughs> That, that's where your money's going, man. Ooh, okay. Oh, he turned it around. That was smart. That was smart. Cheeky. Yeah, I forget you can do that sometimes. Playing the keep away game very well here. Oh, my God. Did he come oh, getting nice. the hottest haircut of all time? Oh, jeez. Nice job there. White Ghost capitalizing. You can see again, looking at some matchup proficiency here, using the banana to extend the... Okay, I'm getting hit by it now. To, to extend his advantage state and ultimately getting a KO is really nice. Op- option coverage, baby. Gonna miss the uh, the chroma dust right there, but still able to set up a great positioning for himself is uh, is ghosts. Yep. Ooh, Ooh, the barrels on top of the platform. Nice job poking his head through. I didn't know that that uh, Cirque's had a uh, a ditty. This is crazy. I feel like most people have a ditty. Because Diddy's pretty, like, in gameplay, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. At least, on, like, a sur- at least on a surface level, his Diddy's pretty straightforward, but... No, nah, Strix definitely looks like he knows what he's doing with this character. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Evan, be careful here. Uh, Ghost trying to get uh, themselves back on the board here, but... Uh, Strix doing a great job just extending his lead, man. Diddy Kong... You know, a banana still needs to have your respect as one of the best items yeah. in the match. Like that's true. Off stage here. Okay, just gonna go for a simple recovery. Go to the ledge. Rinse and repeat, though. Uh oh. Wow, all the way through him. That was good. 
Yeah, that was risky, especially with the banana on the other side of him right there. Yep, exactly. You had to go behind him there. No other option, really. Oh, okay, switches back to Mithra, but uh, Strix able to just break zone, get the grab, and you know reset the situation. Uh oh, okay, down smash. Strix on the board here, one to one right now. Ghost, and uh, I want to see what Ghost does. Let's see what else Ghost has. You know, Strix is getting a little bold here in the pocket, going to the Diddy, who I haven't seen all day. Let's yeah. see what let's let's see what Ghost can come up with. <laughs> The pocket Diddy Kong, man, like, it still feels like Diddy Kong is, like, anti-meta, but he's still, like, really good. It's weird. He's really, like, really good. Even when Diddy Kong felt like he wasn't that great, I still felt like Diddy Kong was good because Banana and, you know, among other things. I, yeah. I, I think I've heard other people echo this statement, like, uh, like Rivers and stuff like that, but, you know, uh, they feel like that Diddy is, like, one major buff away from being, like, a top-tier character. Yeah. Um, but even then, I still feel like this character still has, like, a lot of, you know, juice to work with. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he needed a little help, but he got it. He should be all set now, so. Strix in, Strix in chat saying he hasn't played that character in seven months, by the way. Hey, sometimes it's like riding a bike sometimes. You just don't forget. <laughs> Listen, man, anyway. you never forget You never forget that your coconut gun shoots and spurts. So. Mm -hmm. If he shoots you, it's going to hurt, you know? Just how it goes in the DK rap. Bars, baby. Mm hmm. Truly. All right. Game three should be starting up soon. Ghost yep. choosing his character. I wonder if he's going to go meet Brawler because I know that, you know, Mario or Brawler type characters can do well against Diddy Kong. So I wonder if that's kind of what he's thinking. Or maybe he wants to zone him out a little bit more. This could be a Min Min. Trying to recover against Min Min as Diddy seems very scary. Yeah. So we'll it, 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 it sounds pretty, pretty rough. Um, yeah, but this is, this is the, the game we sign up for, man. These guys are our counter pick. Uh, we could be in for a counter pick war here. As uh... <laughs> it's true, it's true. But we shall see here, man. I love Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong is one of my favorite characters. Just not even just in Smash, but in, in video games. And I feel like it, it feels wrong when Diddy Kong is not like a viable like competitive option in Smash. It feels kind of yeah. Nasty. I like him in, in Donkey Kong Country. I do not like fighting him in Smash. And, and I think he's lucky that some of the sauciest players in the game play him, like Tweak and, and Aaron and, and James. Like, I think he, they, that he's lucky that those characters play them. Oh, they're both on the sidelines now. Where do we go from here? <laughs> Billy, get in there. All three of us. We all have <laughs> throwing pages a, to make. Throwing a towel, Rocky. <laughs> okay, we've re-entered the arena. What is the, is the vibe going to be? Uh-oh. What? Well, <laughs> don't cover the arena ID. I want to join. <laughs> it isn't covered. There might be a password. Oh, the ID. Yeah. The double. Okay. Wow. This is that? honestly, I feel like what the matchup should be. Yeah, I think they both have had their fun. They're just like, all right, now it's time for uh, to get serious with my Team Rocket and me. Yeah, but watch how this thing moves. This thing is no joke. Like, you might think no. it just because it looks kind of silly, but this thing is no joke. At least like this it's like a default me face. It's not. It's nothing like obscene yeah. or disgusting. Yeah, I'm fine <laughs> with that. Rapid jab at the ledge, a little extra damage there. Yeah, listen, we saw, we saw this me brawler earlier in the tournament before, man. And uh, yeah. I think when it's he's playing, yeah, this, this character is is no joke for sure. <laughs> That, that there is going to be uh, detrimental to uh, to Strix's uh, health. But the jab, the F smash, or the Jeff smash, depending on who you talk to, uh, will convert on that stock right there as uh, as uh, Strix, once again, uh, off yeah. to an early lead here. Strix is looking really strong right now, Koopa. He, he looks like it. Okay, suplex. It's good damage. I like the stage for me, Brawler, too, especially with the, the suplex special. You know, you get the platforms, you kind of trap them on them for sure. Yeah, it could also be a, a, a kamikaze option uh, if that potentially comes down to it. Yeah. Yeah, especially against Roy. I mean, we've seen Ghost do such a good job against Roy's recovery, so. Could definitely happen again. 
Ooh, okay. This Rick's continuing to uh, add on the pressure right here as uh, Ghost having a hard time getting this first stock off. That'll happen. Oh, looking for the back air. Down tilt. No air dodge. Yep, that's going to be it. Not having that air dodge there. I think he didn't have a jump either, but it was good timing from Ghost to clean up that stock. Tight even on stocks. You just got to be careful. Okay, suplex. Look for a yeah. nair. Man, that nair hitbox is crazy. Look at this. Up B. Wow, Ooh. that was an enormous <laughs> combo. Dude, I wish I kind of wish it KO'd. I mean, I kind of don't because that would be very toxic, but it looks really cool. <laughs> That's your Ken Min coming out. Yeah, right. That's your KO. It's like, oh, well, he's at 40, so I don't know why that's your KO, but okay. <laughs> there. Look for the ledge pressure now. Is he going to up Nope. Back air. Good job. Yeah. Ace, he, I mean, man from Ghost is crazy, Koopa. Yeah, and a, an amazing uh, uh, reversal of fortune right there, but the last hit of the up smash will convert right there. So despite the, the percentage uh, comeback from uh, Ghost, he's still down stock wise. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> he went flying. Again, Ghost is trying to jockey your position here, but Srix coming up uh, dangerously close to another uh, jab F smash. Yeah, oh, jeez. Swinging right there. Srix on the hunt. I like the way he's, he's going back a little bit. Not giving up too much stage control or anything, but just not allowing him to get hit. Double edge dance going up. Damage and the stage control for an aggressive bear. Can't find it, Koopa. Yeah, just coming up short, man. And the longer. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're done. That's it. Ooh, there we go, folks. Uh, Srix is up two games to one here in the first set of grands. Has we are on the doorstep of a reset here, my friend. We sure are, and I mean, Srix has really earned it. Uh, I like that when he went to his main or when, when he kind of started taking it a little more seriously, he started winning games. So we'll see what Ghost could do on the, on the clap back here because he definitely, I mean, Ghost has played phenomenally all day. Uh, mm -hmm. You got to just see what's left in the tank because that's the hardest part about closing out the tournament. In the beginning, you're all amped up and you're ready to play and all that stuff. You get towards the end, you're like, man, I'm kind of feeling it. I'm feeling a little tired right now, but you got you to push through it and kind of see what you're made of. So I'm excited to see what Ghost comes up with here. Yeah, man, I agree. Um, you know, we could see another character counter pick. Maybe I doubt it. I think the me brawler is probably your best, uh, you know, your best hand going forward. But I don't know. You know, yep. uh, both these characters, both these guys, I'm sure are impossible to read because they both have so many characters in their arsenal they could play. Yeah, and just as a reminder to the chat, so the setup for um, uh, the me brawler uh, on Ghost side, so it's. One three three two, which is shot put for neutral B. Suplex for the side B, which you saw a lot. The thrust uppercut, which you also saw on the up special. And then down B is the, the zero suit one. So really, really strong me setup, in my opinion. Yeah, that's pretty solid. That suplex is an underrated move, man. It's really good. It's so good. Yeah, I agree. Although my favorite me special of all time is the one where he just like dives head first into the ground. Like really fast. Ready? I don't think I know that one. The head-on attack, it's so stupid. Oh, <laughs> just, I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he just falls like a rock. It's absolutely hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, All right, man. One, go. All right, we will not see a... St oh. Uh, <laughs> I, I thought they were trying to reset the stage, you know what I'm saying? Okay, suplex. It's a good 20, almost 23 damage, honestly. It's pretty nuts. Another grab, too. Uh-oh. Look like me, Grappler, you know? <laughs> That'd be Brawler. It's like a, it's like a new class. Me Zangief? Yeah. <laughs> a B? That's... Ooh. Oh, very close wow. to stock. I think Sirx really knows how to how to DI that, though. Or Sirx. He really knows how to DI that, so that, that helps a lot. I get so shocked when that move just, like, straight up does not kill. It looks like it yeah. should. <laughs> mm -hmm. I agree. Okay. All right, but again, nice percent lead here for, uh, for Ghost in the early phase of this game. And... You know, we, we've seen what that Nair can do on these, on, you know, at these high percentage uh, lead traps and stuff like that. They'll eventually start killing. So, yeah, mm -hmm. if you're Srix, you definitely have to be careful right now. Trying to get back to the ledge. Avoids the shot put, but narrowly. Hold on. For back air, something with a little power up B. I think he could have let another one rip, honestly. I think it would have oh. connected. Ooh, Ooh matching your dash too. I like it. Yep. Truly Go tragic, ahead. man. Yeah. 
Okay. Wow, the first stock going to Ghost, actually. Very nice job by the Me Brawler. I think this is a tough matchup for Me Brawler, too. Like, you, you want to get up close so you can do your stuff to Roy, but he also wants to get in close, so... And he hits so hard. Yeah, any sort of character that has to, like, engage near Roy's wheelhouse, I, I feel like has that, like, constant fear yeah. of, like, just getting hit by, like, a rogue F-Smash or a rogue F-Tilt at, like, 80 or 90, and just exploding. Yeah, that... Oh, is that gonna work? Oh, man. I thought it was gonna be... I thought it was gonna be soccer. It's so close every time with Ghost. Okay, double chance. A little too delayed there. Unable to get the KO. Ooh, okay. Soft hit in there. Not gonna be enough just yet. As, nice. Uh, that'll do it, though. Yeah, that was a great defensive fair there. Just kind of protecting the ledge and beating out a hitbox that goes throughout. That was so smart. Okay. See what Ghost can do here. They're going to be on the hunt for the KO, but they, I think they got to play chill. Yeah, get a couple grabs, set them up off stage. Yep. You can Wait just a second. Repeat them too. What's up? I was just going to say, that was uh, definitely too close for comfort if you're Strix right now. Be Ooh, the up me again to get a connect, but... Oh, just barely gonna wow. be enough. You know, uh, Shrix was not able to make that bag. Magnet hands are nowhere for Roy. I mean, his recovery, I feel like it's not exploited enough by, by players at like a lower level. You know what I mean? Top players all know how to exploit that recovery because it's actually pretty lackluster. Yeah, I was also gonna say, I feel like the, the fear of the of the shot put potentially raining down yep. uh, might have played a factor into that as well. Definitely. Certainly possible. Oh! You never know what a Ghost is going to do when they get a grab at, like, low mid percents. It's like, is this going to be a down throw into some sort of up B read that kills? It could be, but speaking of killing, Strix yeah, looking, to he's looking to reset the bracket here, Koopa. Yeah, no, and uh, that was a great read on the platform right there, reading the roll away without much space to go. And, uh, again, Roy can make up this percent deficit uh, very, very easily. He needs, oh, a B? Man, again, it's just not going to KO. I really do feel like Strix has played this matchup because he's DIing that like really well. We saw yeah. kill other characters around this percentage anyway. It looked pretty easy. Ah, uh, uh, might... oh no, that's it. Yep. Okay, oh. we're going to game five, Koopa. Track Big and game field five. Equip... Yep. Track and field equipment straight to the dome, man. As uh, <laughs> Ghost comes out on on top there. So I imagine if you if Strix is playing the the rocket grunt, the shot, but it's just a heavy ball. Is that how this works? Yes. <laughs> Thank you for humoring me. <laughs> Sorry, I had my mic muted, so I just tried <laughs> to jump in. Tried, tried to jump in quick for you, so chat. We're out of game five. If Ghost wins, we pack it up. Ghost is your champion for the last qualifier bracket. If Strix wins, we're going to another set. Either way, the outcome is good. We watched some amazing Smash Ultimate today uh, during the qualifier. It saw so many good players and so many different characters and stages. All sorts of things to kind of, you know, capture this this meta that we're currently living in. I love it. I think it was a fantastic day today watching all the different streams and regions uh, or sub regions, I guess, kind of go at it. So it's been great, Koopa. No, I, I agree, man. It, it's been uh, a great journey so far. Uh, it's a shame that it could potentially come to an end here. And um, it's been great to go through it with you. It's been great to go through with the chat. They've been very... Uh, you know, helpful, not only just with, you know, uh, <laughs> keeping us awake with the last, but also very informative, you know, on, on uh, players and, and stuff like that. And again, I got to give that shout out to production here while we still can, of course, uh, Brig and everybody else, Cact and all the TOs, uh, you know, putting in all the work and burning the midnight oil right now. So we're well, we're, yeah, we're, well past, we're, well, we're well past the midnight oil. We're just at straight oil. I forgot. This is, yeah, this is this crazy oil for sure we're gonna power through this koopa it's gonna be a great game and if we move on to another set it's gonna be a great set number two but for right now let's focus on this game five as our competitors are ghost versus Cirques. it's going to be a game five koopa let's get into it ps2 yeah we'll see if the, if the home stage advantage technically <laughs> works out for 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 ghost right now um but again this day is just as good for roy as i'm sure it is for me brawler uh, as well you know Okay. Whoa, Jesus. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, this duplex. Being the meat me grappler is so good. I think the it's me, awesome. The meat grappler. Shrek's off to a good start here, though. Off to a lead, and he's doing the thing where he just backs off a little bit. Go ahead. He wants you to make a mistake, then he's going to swat you away for it. Yep, just do that. Playing a little tag, you know what I mean? Come up, bop you, run yep. the other way. 
Yeah, again, man, like like you brought up in the last set, having to play within Roy's wheelhouse like this is so dangerous. Uh, yeah. You know, for, for the me, bro. <gasps> no, 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 no. That's not what you oh. see. A little too far with the air dodge there. I think he thought he had attacked. We saw that a little bit earlier from Srix, but not a good time to do it. But he can make a comeback here. No problem. With the aggression off stage, he is good at it. Ooh. Yep, just hold that shield. Yep, just don't even give him a chance. Yep. Even if he grabs you, it's like, all right, that's fine. That's better than getting, you know, destroyed by the double edged dance there. Yep, and, but you also bring up uh, Srix's willingness to run off stage and edge guard. Again, you have to be careful with Roy, um, especially in the circumstances that you're in where you're playing for the reset. You don't want to accidentally, you know, gimp yourself or put yourself in position to lose. Mm -hmm. Ooh, not going to connect the last hit of the double edge dance. Uh, and not going to connect the, uh, the jab yeah. to back air either. He could potentially be out of range for that, Has. Definitely. I think the combination of the Rage and the Roy, and then also obviously the 163. Oh my goodness, it was almost a stock again. Up tilt, looking for it. He already air dodged. This is trouble, Koopa. Ooh. Okay, up B. Yep, yep, I love it. Pull the trigger. Although, if that was shielded, he could be down two stocks to, to none right now. Yeah, Yo. no, for sure. Ooh, goes for the shot put, but good air dodge past the ledge. Ooh, you see him go for the up smash right there. Kind of a yep. seldomly used option so far. Yeah, he's saving it. I, I like that. Ghost is one of those players that saves options for when they really matter. And I mean, we're in a game five where if he doesn't win, he's going back uh, to the drawing board trying to figure out how to fight uh, Shrix through the rest of another set. So I think he's going to want to take this one home, Koopa. Yeah, no, absolutely. You want to capitalize on his lead where you can. Oof. Wow, but nice back air right there to catch the landing. Yeah, the whiff punish master, man. It's so good. I mean, he's fighting against the sword. Obviously, it's Roy, so the, uh -oh. the range isn't that long, but... Sword against Brawler is just never good for the whiff punishment for the Brawler. Dash attack to trade, not oh enough though. God. That was so dangerous, man. Looking down the barrel of a side B from Roy. Oh, you are a brave soul. Yeah, no way. Oh, jab, back air, is that gonna do it? Oh, yes, we got Strix oh, with a comeback. 167 on the Roy, this is insanity. One thing we haven't really seen from Go so far is the grabs, Koopa. I feel like they were so good earlier, but now Strix is the one calling the shots. Yeah, no, um, having a hard time, uh, like you said, converting a grab uh, here. Here we go, low percent Roy combos, so dangerous. Oh, wow. Man. Wow. Don't count Ghost out yet, though. He has some crazy tricks up his sleeve as well. Koopa, last stock. We're going to either see a second set or we're going to, hold on, at the ledge. Strix had good positioning there. He couldn't capitalize, though. Yep. Has Strixo mode been engaged once again, has, man? <laughs> I do not know yet. Look at these snares down Ooh. tilt. Ooh, no follow up though. No capitalization. Oh. That one hurts. It was such a good position right there for, for Ghost to take over the game. Okay, still looking good though. Ooh, okay. That air dodge <gasps> uh, away. Gonna be huge there, but gonna miss the F smash. Oh, that's there. gonna be it. That's gonna be another set. Oh, no, he's good. He's good. He's good. Up B. Okay, goes past Whoa. the ledge. <gasps> Finish it. Oh, my goodness. How is Ghost oh, still alive here? God. This is ridiculous. There, that's. It's, Seriously? Okay, there you go. Okay, another set we have unlocked. Well played by Srix there. Insane stuff at the ledge, but we've been seeing it all night and morning and day. <laughs> it's McDonald's is going to stop serving breakfast soon by the time this set's over. <laughs> Are they 24 hours now? <laughs> and some places. Wow. That was insane, man. Talk about yeah. uh, a nail-biter set. You, you know, you got two uh, phantom kill screens as... As our good friend Ajax always says, uh, the red lightning has lied to you this whole time. So, um, yeah, and just like that, uh, great ledge trapping is what ends up being the uh, the great equalizer there uh, for uh, for Srix as we as Srixo mode was yep. engaged, and we are now moving into uh, true finals uh, here between these two. Oh um, yeah, these two are, are, are jockeying for that top for that better seed, man. And, and I gotta say, like you know, this is the end of the rope here. Like these guys. Uh, have been playing all day. They've been playing to first qualify, which they both did, and now it's all about the seeding. So you can tell that this means a lot because either these guys, they can kind of goof around right now and they can kind of play some funny characters or whatever. Maybe they got that out of the way earlier in the set, but they're clearly playing now. They're playing, playing. Now let's see what happens. Yeah, it, this is this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be fun, man. Um, I'm I'm super duper excited. Now, what do you what do you do if you're uh, if you're ghost right now? Do you go back to uh... You know, uh, one of your other Ooh. characters, do you maybe break out the Min Min? I don't know. You know, at this point, do you, I, I, I'd say stick with the hand that got you here. You know, the me brawler w was uh, was working. But yeah, um, at the same time, you know, uh, you, you could be in a scenario where you could just throw something against the wall and see if it sticks. 
Oh, Shrix DQ'd from the first qualifier? Oh, I didn't know that. Well. Oh, that's wild. <laughs> How about that? Um, well, I think the characters should be Brawler and Roy. I think that's been the most competitive that we've seen it so far. And both sides, like, going your best option to win. I would like to see the Min Min. Uh, I feel like you should have done that in the first set, though, if you were going to try it. Um, because then you have the second set to fall back on and be like, all right, I'll go my main the whole time. But either way, you know, it's never too late. And honestly, you've gotten into the qualifier. Okay. Yep. Forgot That's about the I zombie. Meant. I forgot about the zombie. <laughs> yeah. Alexa, play the cranberries as uh, we got the, the zombies coming out to... Uh... Mm -hmm. That's a, no one's going to get that joke either. God, I got it. it. You know. Because <laughs> I'm in your head. Yeah, okay. Exactly. There you go. There you are. Okay. Strix with Maybe? Sephiroth too. I like it. Strix or Ralph? Strix. Because we have Pickle. Pickle. Never mind. Anyway. <laughs> game one. We're losing it. Set two. Here we go. Woo. I gotta say, I do really like Ghost Steve as well. What the heck was that? Whoa. Did you see him go on the other side of that? Yeah, that was weird. He like warped through the uh... It's like a Sephiroth teleport trick. It was weird. Down yeah, smash, I wild. like it. Uh-oh. Okay. I was okay. I, I feel like Octoslash should go higher than it does, but for some reason it's... it's it, I don't know. I'm always afraid when you dip too low with that move, you're just never gonna make it back. Yeah, I feel you. Oh, is he gonna do it? Yeah, he did. I nope. love that move. The way it kind of deafens the sound is just incredible. So, yeah, aesthetically, that the, give that guy a raise. Whoever programmed that move, that's awesome. Okay, first stock though is going to go to Ghost on his Minecraft zombie. Oh, jeez, he's playing with fire here. And he jumps in and shields it. That's insanity. Look at this mix right now, too. What? 40%. That was that was so cool. Okay, Ghost playing amazing right now. Yeah, he's playing like he just saw a ghost. Like, my lord. True. Oh. <laughs> yeah, again, again, this is what I mean by this character having, like, one of the best disadvantage states, man. Just being able to just, like, recover high and just gently put a, a block of dirt, like, below you. It's absolutely insane. Down smash again. This time a little bit late. It does have good startup, especially that back hitbox, so... Okay. Shield should be a good punish here. Yep. Throw. Going for the materials. He knows what he needs. He didn't get any diamond, but he did get the redstone, which just helped him make more cards. So that is good. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure that's right. Yes. Ooh, okay. The minecart uh, just being able to get out of range of the nair right there. And that will be, again... Huge lead right now for uh, for Ghost as uh, Srix, yeah, uh, trying to get himself back in the thick of things here. I wonder if um, I wonder if like the, the Steve is like the real main. You know what I mean? Like I, I know his me uh, brawler is obviously super sick, and I'm sure his Min Min's great too. But I think like his Steve is also uh, it could be any of them, honestly. Yeah, no, all of all of Ghost's characters have been absolutely uh, solid. Uh, so I feel like either one of these characters could be considered the main versus not. Oh, wait a second. Okay. Good air dodge out of the shadow. He did, he, he did that on purpose. He got the cart and threw it in his way, trying to, you know, get him to force attack or something like that. Okay. Oh, he got right into that. That's exactly Sakurai loves that. You know, that's exactly what Sakurai wanted to see. Hell's Gate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Shadow right. Flare. It's out again. Oh, I thought the cart was going to connect there too. Ghost kind of did it. Whoa! <laughs> Wait a second. No, it <laughs> it would make a back the up. Be gonna at least buy uh, Ghost some time here. But Srix is uh, right back yeah. in the thick of things right now. Has all right, Srix. Oh no, he does fall into it. Doesn't need enough hits off the the lava to get KO though. Oh jeez. He's just swinging at this boy, man. The the angel the angel wings out too though, so don't forget he will get armor on those as well. But it does not matter. The first game going to Ghost with the diamond pickaxe, very nice, very very nice. Aesthetically, this matchup is absolutely hilarious. It's wild. It's it, it's crazy. <laughs> and they came out. Um, they were characters that were released back to back. Don't forget that either. <laughs> Isn't that weird? It's so it's it still blows my mind that this is like a real thing. Yeah, that screen right there. Yeah. Just nutty <laughs> stuff. All right, man. Game one. Yeah, so Take the, it down. The, the, uh, the holding on to the um, 
to deceive, uh, you know, till the second set. You know, it could be a, a long con sort of game. Could the, 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 yeah. the me brawler game could have been all data. Could have been stubbornness or something too. Who knows? I mean, I think that's the first time we really saw the Sephiroth as well, right? Oh no, we we saw the last set too. Yeah, they started the he started the last set with a uh, with Sephiroth. Um, as that's right. This time. That's right. Either way, both players trying to figure out their next move here. Yeah, no, we will. Uh, we could potentially see a run back here. I don't know. Neither, neither player, yeah. both these players are good at leaving the ring in and out. So, <laughs> yeah, who knows? They're gonna take their time here and try to figure out their next move. Though every game is super pivotal at this point. Yeah, you, utilizing the utilizing the uh, the corners of the of the boxing ring very. Uh, <laughs> uh, <clearly. laughs> We await the, the start from both players. An intense staring contest yeah. between Daisy and the Yellow Devil. <laughs> <laughs> Yellow Devil is such a good icon. Not that Daisy isn't, but I feel like Yellow Devil is such a good choice. I feel like there's just so many better options for, like, arena pogs that you can choose from. Yeah. And, like, what are you, you rocking? I rock with Shovel Knight. That's mine. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I've uh, I've used Shovel Knight since, since launch. I oh, tried nice. Yeah, he's cool. That. I love that game. That's one of my favorite games. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, there we go. Ghost blink, blinked first. Uh, he is the first one to leave <laughs> the ring. I'd love to see their uh, Smash.GG chat, you know, like what's going on on there. <laughs> Probably a lot of, uh, I don't know, GG's stuff. True. What if they just start? What if they just started um, playing by like the dragon ball rules where if you leave the ring you, you're out you use the game the ring out yeah <laughs> that's kind of what smash is isn't it like that's you leave true the, you leave like you leave the arena and you, you lose a stock or whatever yep yeah, except there's no uh, think about out. it damn wow you just blew my deep. mind you you blew whatever's left of my brain that that's that's true it, it, it's wild all right but like we predicted uh it is gonna be uh zombie and uh sephiroth still uh in the second game interesting so. No, very interesting for sure. Cause Strix, I mean, dude, his Roy is looking very polished. Like, I think the first time I watched it, I was like, all right, you know, he's kind of missing some jabs into into backers at the ledge, but he wasn't missing anything towards towards the end of the last couple of games. So I'm a little surprised that he's switching to Sephiroth, but maybe he just likes the character and wants to work on it for um, later in the bracket and you know, kind of making that long term investment instead. Oh, you, uh, it, that could uh, most definitely be the case. And again, you can say the same thing about. Uh, Ghost on his end. That Shadow Flare is going to add us some damage. But uh, Ghost wasted no time going right back on the offensive. Yeah. All right. Okay, dash attack. Trying to make his way back. Uh oh. Jesus, man. That up air yeah. is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, I was going to say the down air. That's really funny um, that we were both looking at different moves there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so like yeah. Steve's down air. I was like, oh, yeah, that move is crazy. But you were talking about Sephiroth's up air, which is also yeah. insane. Yeah, I just feel like Sephiroth's up air just isn't, like, a real thing. I still can't believe this character has, like, a sword this massive. Yeah. Up smash. It should do it. Ghost on the board first here. And Ghost Big not opportunity opting to, for him. And also not opting to make the, the diamond weaponry uh, just yet. But, again, smart choice. You know, hold your resources. Yeah. Uh, take advantage of your invincibility. And uh, now we have uh, Diamond Hands, baby, uh, out to play right now. So this is where, if you're a Strix, you got to be very, very careful. What a parry. I mean, honestly, that probably would have shield poked. If not, I don't think it does a lot of shield damage, but it could have shield broken. But I think it, I think he definitely would have eaten the hit if he didn't parry right there. So that was really nice. <laughs> okay, throw okay. some mine card out. Dude, pretty typical, like, Steve stuff right now, you know. Uh, yeah. You know, sit back, sit on your resources. Um, he's probably, I think he's like very close to getting another diamond. Oh yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, one, two, what? three. Yep. He should be good. Yeah, yeah he's good. I'll oh, smash though. He's gonna do it again. Calling out Sephiroth above him. Very nice job. Ghost again has a lead, but we saw what what uh what Strix did last time he had a lead. Okay. He made the comeback very quickly. Yeah, no, for sure. You, you definitely can't sleep if you're a ghost right now. Mm -hmm. right, down throw to the dash stack will combo. Yeah, you, you want to keep building a lead just as he is right now. Good interruption of that counter, too. You got to be ready for that one. 
Oh! <laughs> oh, he's going out there. Oh, I love it. I love that he went out there, though, Koopa. Oh, is that going to do it? All the way from the other side? Are you serious? Ghost Jesus up 2-0. Oh. Wow. I'm telling you, that, that might be the best move in the game. I'm telling you. It's close, man. Like, the more I look at it, the more I'm just like, man, they really... <laughs> I would love to talk to the intern that played with Sakurai at lunch when they were programming that move. Yeah. Like... <laughs> I wonder where to keep finding these guys. The like, interns, oh, yeah, that's fine. Would yeah. you be? I'd be really nervous to do that because it's kind of like like your boss invented this thing and you're trying to play him and beat him at it. Like I'd be kind of nervous, honestly. <laughs> this is too hard. I want to go home. Wait, aren't you home already? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. <laughs> can I get a? Can I get a judge? You are home. It's true. <laughs> Seth That's what I'm saying, man. Hmm. I don't know that, about that one. I I couldn't tell you. I've seen so I've I've seen so little of both these characters so far. It's like I don't know. It's weird. But they're gonna <laughs> in a set that saw a lot of counter picking the first time around. We are indeed uh, could potentially be seeing uh, an all Seth and zombie uh, grand second set of grand finals as. Three, yeah. I don't know. I, I can definitely see on paper why uh, this matchup would, would be uh, rough for Sephiroth, but I, don't know, I feel like when you have that sort of range, nothing can be like that uh, impossible. But I don't know. Yeah. We'll see, man. We shall see. I mean, Ghost is making Steve look really nice right now. Love everything he's been putting out there with this character. Up air. Block. Yep. 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 Ah, it's so cool. Like, his little combo strings like that, the first time I saw him, I was like, this is actually pretty sick, honestly. Yeah, it's definitely one of those things where it looks cooler when you're not getting hit by it. It's very thing. true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I agree. Ooh, okay. Ooh, oh my, off the heezy with the back air. That Nasty. was wild. For a down smash, tried to catch him air dodging in. Big, big call up, but I like the idea. Again, uh, Ghost kind of locked off in a corner, just going to get his resources together. Uh, Srix just trying to you know, force some sort of approach and now has himself a uh, slight lead here. Yeah, so I think here, um, if you're Ghost, and this is kind of the interesting thing, is you go and you try to take the stock without, what a god. Like, that is just ridiculous. Okay, is he going to get a kill off of it too? Man, that would have been such a cool clip. That would have been such a cool clip. Hold on, he doesn't have any intangibility. Oh, oh yeah, he did. He oh. did actually. He was off the wow, table. Okay. Now. Okay, forward smash, it should be it. So I really like go. that he didn't use the diamond there. And this is kind of like Steve's whole plan is you take the first stock, you mine a diamond, and then you're like kind of like pseudo ahead for all the next stocks as long as you farm a diamond. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no. I, it's kind of like it's kind of like WAF, but you farm it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're, you're fear mongering with, with the, the threat of a really strong like, yeah. offensive weapon. Jesus Christ. Excellent stuff right here from uh, Ghost as he's continuing to add on to this lead here. Srix so just trying to generate something. <laughs> parry again, Ooh. man. His parries are on point right now. Like, what what a time to turn up your parries. You know what I mean? Right, right at the end. Oh, there we go. That's going to kill off the top. For a second, it looked like it wasn't going to, but... You know, Ghost built himself a nice little lead here. Uh, again, now has uh, Diamond at his disposal. And this is where he's been the most dangerous. The stock, uh, every stock after, uh, you know, Ghost uh, respawns and is able to immediately craft a Diamond weapon, he's been absolutely, like, ridiculous. What? Okay. Right. Don't say good. Go ahead. Go. I was going to say, Go just ahead. like, don't say quit just yet. Uh, there was a couple of nice exchanges there from Strix. Yeah. Okay, go for the recovery. Oh, look at that, the extended hitbox of the sword there, the Masuma. Lingering a little longer because it was off the, oh boy, speaking of off, off the easy there, <laughs> dropped the angle yeah. on him, Wily Coyote. Yeah, Masamu meet Acme. <laughs> careful with that shield. He's gotta be careful shielding or even trying to roll with that because the down smash there will just, just pop that thing. Yeah, that's a setup that feels like kind of fake sometimes, but even then in that scenario, like the threat of it was way yeah. too good. That forward air is so good. I think I think uh, Srix is really finding a uh, new home with that that fair in this matchup. I think it's helping him a lot. Good grab there. Oh. Wow. <gasps> oh, that could have been dangerous. What a setup. 
Going for the block into the up smash. Really smart. Okay, got him in the cart. What's the follow up? Okay. Oh. I keep waiting for him to go for the up, for the up smash, but it keeps coming up. Uh, I think yeah. the fear is not what he's playing with. Well, I think he wants to. Yeah, it's gonna be good damage. It's not gonna quite kill yet though. He needs to. He could get this diamond. Like if he. <gasps> yep. Just hold that. Yep. Diamond. Yep. Upgrade your armor. Here it comes. This could be the end of the tournament, Koopa. Looking at some diamond armor, some diamond equipment here. Four ghosts. Trying to find. Oh, rolls. What's he gonna do? Oh, looking for the cart, of course. <gasps> Up smash. Very nice uh -oh. option there from Strix. F2. Oh, did he tech that? Are you I kidding can't. me? There's no way. Okay. You're oh, seeing all the DLC features here right now. This is a, oh, with the back. That's gonna do oh it. Are you God. serious? What a display <laughs> right there. Absolutely you crazy, got, so You got like $8 worth of DLC showcasing right there. That was like yeah. absolutely insane. Yeah, that was just a great oh, ad, honestly. God. All the way at the end. Yeah. <laughs> it's just one big advertisement. That's just... Oh, man. That was... Listen, man. Just just when you think uh, Strix might be at the end of his rope, you know, we could potentially be seeing the end of Hercules where they're about to cut his, uh, cut his cord and... You know, he turns into a god. So, what a story that, that would tech be, was insane. That tech was actually incredible. Is what I have to say about that. Run it back. Let's see it again. Close it out in the stage for sure. By the way, I've I've officially reached the well, technically because I took a nap. Uh, I'm officially at 24 hours awake right now. You gotta get some sleep, bro. I'll be fine. I'm built different. It's all good. Minecraft versus Final Fantasy is pretty crazy. That's true. Chat, what's going on, guys? 2,500 yeah, of chat, you. I, I love it. Yeah, how you doing, chat? Everybody holding up all right? Everybody, Everyone's everybody good? be nice. Anyone need any snacks? Coffee? Whatever <laughs> you need, guys. We're going to make it work here. 1.15 a.m.? I <laughs> can't relate. <laughs> it's so weird because, like, it was 1.15 a.m. for us not too long ago. You know what I'm saying? Brawler against Sephiroth? That doesn't seem good. <laughs> oh, no. Whew. Hey, guys. You look at tea with two sugars? All right. Well, there you go. Yeah, I went to bed, woke up, and the tourney is still going on. Yup. Yup. Anyway. The best feeling? Team Rocket grunt against Sephiroth. You know? <laughs> kind of what we're looking like, at here. This feels like, a, like an NCAA like fantasy bracket matchup. Yeah, like, right. Of, of like of like evil teams, like yeah. the Rocket Grunt versus Sephiroth. Like the 16 seed versus the number one, basically. <laughs> well, let's see if you're Duke or if you're Virginia from uh, 2017. True. Sure. More sports. Sorry, guys. I don't mean to lose you. Video games. Here we go. True. F tilt. Okay, good pressure here. No way. Oh wow, the movement. That was so bold right there, and that's gonna be a loss of a stock. Ghost. That was, that was sick. I know it was an SD that that got him the stock ultimately, but dude, that was such sick movement. That was some Matrix stuff right there. Yeah, he definitely got his ankles broken so hard he had no idea what just happened. This is a Mugen matchup. <laughs> That's funny. Ooh, okay. Counter gonna connect right there. Jeez. Oh god, dude. he keeps hitting <laughs> that man. It's like oh. <laughs> I wish Sephiroth could get hit by that, honestly. Like, I wish you could knock him into it. That'd be super funny. That's like Final that Boss move, ass. Reflecting that move is so satisfying. Oh, yeah. Okay, Sephiroth. Right. And Wing is on deck right now, so... Is that good, dude? Nice, okay. Peek himself. I thought we were going to see another SD, man. Up throw. Pressure. Okay, I like it. Oh, oh. I don't like it, oh. actually. I really don't like it. Uh, I, I did like it, back. and then I didn't. Yep. I take, I take back that like, you know. Up smash, not enough. Not enough power. Ooh, okay, 20. I can't believe that does 20. That's the craziest part about that. Yeah, that that's your hard earned uh, taxpayer dollars, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, the chat said homie stock for that. <laughs> that's not what that was, but I love it. <laughs> oh, from deep. Nope. What again? <laughs> Going is on. The third SD this game? Yes. Okay. Not that I'm keeping right. track, but. 
<laughs> homie stock. It's just they it's like who can out homie each other, you know, that's how you win. Oh my god, this is gonna go to ten games. He faced right. the timer the wrong way? Or the, the counter the wrong way? Oh maybe. Well what, let, let's see what okay, you got play. Alright, I'm just nervous they're gonna SD out of nowhere again, you know? Counter? Not enough. They're they're kinda weak. No, gonna get back to the ledge. Oh my gosh, I'm shocked that up smash was not uh, within range right there. Yeah, Chad, that's a good point. Is like, at this point, they've been playing for so long. You gotta be, you gotta be feeling that exhaustion at some point. I know I'm feeling it on commentary a little bit too. That back air though is gonna do it. A uh, game five again. A ten game grand finals. For seeding. <laughs> Let's go. Type. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is just what I signed up for, man. This is this has been this has been absolutely uh, stellar. So, do we see the change back to zombie? Do we stick with the me brawler? I don't know, Has. What are you? What I are just you doing? Don't want any SDs? That's where I'm at. They gotta pull it. Honestly, this is a this is actually really good practice. They they need to pull it together and have a clean game ten. You know what I mean? Because it's been pretty sloppy since since game three. I feel like there's been been blunders on both sides, so random. Yeah, I feel like I, both of them could potentially be feeling like the the fatigue as well, man. Like they've yeah. between the two of them counting this uh, being the uh, yeah, there that's five games. This is gonna be ten games, thirteen games between them so far tonight. Yeah, like that's wild. <laughs> Indeed. Here we go, <sighs> man. What, what's Here left? we what they, go. What, what, what if they just go like wild characters? Like, I don't know. Dr. Steven Martyr. Sephiroth. I don't know if it gets <laughs> any more wild than that. That's pretty Steven crazy. <laughs> if I'm, all right, hold on, hold on. Because if you're, if you're Srix, who do you go? You go Roy? Or you go Min Min now? Oh my God. The absolute last resort, the Min Min against Sephiroth. More DLC against DLC. This is the future. This is the present, actually. <laughs> FD, truly the final destination, not only of this stage in this game, but of the tournament itself. This will determine the highest possible seeding for this last chance qualifier between Ghost and Srix. Let's get into it. Min-Min against Sephiroth. Should be a good match. A lot of range going on here, Koopa. And I think this matchup could be potentially disastrous for, for Sephiroth, man. Min Min has so much non-committal range that she has she gets to play with yeah. that I, I feel like it's, it's going to be impossible wow, nice. for, for Sprix to get any offense generated outside of like stuff like that. But yeah, that, that was all calculated too. I think getting in, getting getting the Shadow Flare on him is going to be really really important. Like I think getting that uh, debuff on Ghost is going to be an important part of this matchup. Oh, whiffing the grab, trying to read another spot dodge or defensive nervous option, but Ghost gets out of out of harm's way. Ooh, okay. Oh. Could have been rough, but again, uh, you, despite the range <gasps> advantage. Oh, but a great read on the roll and Srix. She gets first blood here in game five, Hazmat. This is absolutely insane. This is what I want to see, dude. That like game 10, you know, the seating is on the line. This is important. And then they're both trying. You know that because they're, they're going all out. The Min Min is out. It's the first time I've seen it today or gotten to commentate it. So. That thing's been been a little, you know, resting on the bench a little bit, but back against the wall, this is what he's going towards. Srix's Sephiroth is certainly warming up a lot, though, Koopa. Yeah, no, it looks like he's just getting started. You see him <laughs> going for some gnarly angles down with the uh, uh, with the upbeat, but again, Ghost is trying to get to some offense generated with uh, with Min Min, and he's doing a good job getting the damage, but having a rough time getting that killing blow. Grab, just barely not reaching. Okay, good punch right there. Sending out the dragon arm. Getting the extra distance, so important. Okay. Zoning out. Go with the big hitters now. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, okay, good nair right there. Again, the longer that I feel like Ghost like, plays with... I don't even want to say he's playing with his food. It's just I just he's having a hard time. You can't getting find that, that, yeah. The megawatt's not the connecting. I think is the big thing about it. You know what I mean? Like he's playing at that. The thing is, megawatt being shorter, I think is kind of a big dis deal in this matchup. Like 
you're going to need to see more of those counter pokes rather than throwing out Megawatt to like kind of straight up beat him in the range. I mean, Masamune's a very, very long sword. It's a, it's a big thing of uh, Sephiroth's character, so yeah, it's going to be interesting. But first stock is, oh, jeez, that was a read. That was a read and a half. He, he knew that was coming. Yep. Srix, huge lead here now. Big time earned this one so far. Looking good for Srix. The Sephiroth, is this the truth, Koopa? Is this going to be it? I think so, man. Uh, the one wing Angel is here uh, to play. And uh, uh, let's see what Ghost has left in the tank, man. It's looking really grim right now. Yeah. Okay. Woo. Okay. As long as Strix isn't as deep. Okay. I think we're good. Okay. A little more zoning out here. Strix again. I love the way he plays with the lead. This is the way to do it. Just run, not run away, but just like kind of force your opponent to do something and then try to punish them for it, you know? All right, here we go. Wait until the ledge for Shadow Flare to go away. Immediately <gasps> goes to the back throw. What if he went for an SD down air right there to end it? That would have been so amazing. But either way, grab, forward throw, chipping away. This has to be frustrating. Ghost feeling the pressure. Has to get off the ledge. Can he do it? Megawatt's out. Trying to find something. Good timing on that one, though, Koopa. Yeah, and again, um, oh, Ghost refusing to say, oh man, he showed his hand there. All right, Ghost for the forward throw. He does have the enhanced dragon arm now, so he has to be careful. Octo Slash, lots of pressure here. Oh, I love the idea, but <laughs> however, however, now we're both on a final stock here. 124, Ghost trying to make a comeback happen. He's got Sephiroth off stage. Can he do it, Koopa? This is crazy. Listen to grab, good tech in place. Vote. I am at the edge of my seat, Has I honestly I think the pressure is on, on Srix right now. I really uh -oh. do. Oh, up till, yep, that's going to be it. Srix is going to take it down in the in the last chance qualifier. He is the winner after a 10-game Grand Finals reset. What a marathon for these guys. They've been playing for, like, I don't even know how many hours, Koopa. Like, it's just unbelievable the amount of hours they put in today and all the work that they did. Both these guys absolutely killed it, and it has been so much fun to be here today with them to watch this unfold. And I'm glad they stuck it out and really, really fought it out. That was so much fun, man. Wow, man. GG's, that was, uh... yeah, GG's, yeah. <laughs> no, 100%, man, that was uh, that was sick. And that was just for the last chance qualifiers. So these guys uh, are, again, just jockeying for position for whenever the uh, the offline uh, you know phase of the circuit gets to engage. Yeah. And wow. What an, what an event. That was that was absolutely fantastic, Has We have... Yeah. Uh, the sun is almost in the middle of the sky right now. We've been at this for... Uh, right outside. Yeah. It, it's, it's bright. I don't even need my ring light anymore. This is this is how I look all the time. But... Yeah. Wow, that was sick. Um, I, I can't express how much fun that was. Uh, the Australia... You know, the oceanic scene uh, has, has, has been great. Yeah. Um, wow. You guys put on one hell of a show. Uh, I tip... If I had a hat, I'd tip it to you because you, this was absolutely amazing. They did, yeah. It was such an entertaining bracket all the way throughout. I think you, there's a great mix of characters and play styles in there. I think it's like kind of a crazy region. I love the chat. You guys are so, I think like zany is the best word I can come up with. Or like you're just so much fun to interact with. So thanks so much, chat. Koopa, you too as well, of course. So here you go. All of your qualified players from left to right, top to bottom. Uh, that's from placement too. So, you know, first place, uh, Kana uh, Kanaji. I'm sorry. I'm so tired. Kanaji yeah, came Kana first. And that's crazy. Crazy. Uh, Raise each go, yeah. fried rice, uh, Seb Pro 101. And, just, and look at this character diversity, man. Two me brawlers, two, me two brawlers, dark pits, yeah. three me's in general. Like, this is absolutely bonkers. Yeah. Like, look at this yeah. character variety, man. The the uh, Congratulations to the 16. And again, it's a shame that only one of these uh, guys get to advance to the, to the big field of 32 whenever we get to the end because it is going to be a bloodbath for whoever ends up getting there, man. My God. Yeah, that, dude, I mean... Whew, this was this is a marathon for sure for everyone. This is a well fought battle for everybody that made it today and everyone who didn't do honestly. I mean, you played in that bracket, you might not have qualified, but man, repped your region really well and uh, got the thing done. So, thanks a lot, everyone. 